Hello. Remember when I did the day one video for the Metal Gear Rising Revengeance demo and I said I would never do that again? Well, I lied because Platinum Games released a demo for their next game, The Wonderful 101 for the Wii U. I'm incredibly pumped for this game and also I figured I should show this off because everybody else is really bad at doing it. So what is this game? I mean, you got that little guy, and you got all those other little guys, and when the main little guy moves, all the other little guys follow him, and you press buttons and it's a video game, so it's Pikmin, right? Well, no. It's a Platinum Games game, dummy. It's an action game, like Bayonetta, or Devil May Cry, or Belgi Rising Revengeance. It's a little different, obviously, but it's an action game. Uh, one of the ways you can attack is with uh, Team Attack, which is the X button. Uh, no combos, it's just throwing your guys straight ahead, but that is not the main way of attacking this game. The main way is Unite Morph, which you do by drawing shapes with either the Wii U's touchpad or the right analog stick and then hitting the A button. A circle uh, gives you Unite Hand. And drawing all these shapes, uh, you're making the weapons by having your guys combine into them. A straight line gives you Unite Sword. And drawing a little L-type shape uh, gets you Unite Gun. And your dudes are the gun, so they're also the bullets! So I'm knocking my guys out because I am just shooting them straight into this wall. Um, as far as drawing shapes and the controls, uh, I don't have a preference for either the right analog stick or the touchscreen. They both seem to work perfectly fine for me. Uh, I mean, I just did that circle there with the touchpad, and it was fine. I kind of switched between them. Um, you can also see we have that battery meter underneath our life, um, and it depletes when we draw shapes. Um, the bigger the shape you draw, the more of your battery it drains. Other actions also use up batteries, like uh, with the left trigger, LZ, you get Wonderful Pudding, which is your block move. And LZ, or RZ, or the right trigger, you can see Wonderful Spring, which is your dodge move. And, uh, we're gonna see some combat here. I'm not gonna explain how all of it's going, because it's gonna look a little confusing at first. That's just what happens with Platinum Games games, because they have a learning curve, because there's a lot happening. Because they aren't just button masters. I mean, you can play it like that, but if you do, you're terrible. Um, so there is a learning curve. If you play this demo, you should really play it twice. The first time, you're not really gonna understand what's happening at all. Second time, things will just start clicking. This is how it goes with all of them. Same with Metal Gear Rising. Um, so this guy, big guy on the left, is about to charge me, and I block him with the pudding. Um, enemies who hit the pudding uh, bounce off it, and they'll become dazed. Like, see that guy on the right with uh, the two guys with the stars over their heads? Uh, they've been dazed. Uh, so it makes it easier to hit them, because, I mean, they're just sitting there. Um, and of course you get ranked on your performance. The best is a Platinum Medal. Get all three Platinum Medals in a rank, and you get Pure Platinum, which is the highest rank in the game. And since this is called the Wonderful 101, there are lots of people to recruit. And this also plays into Unite Morph. If you draw a longer shape, you use up more of your people to combine into the sword, or whatever other weapon you make. Um, the more people means, uh, just a bigger weapon, which means longer range and more damage, etc. Um, we got these little wonderful batteries here. Everything's called wonderful in this game. Um, you collect a whole bunch of little batteries, and eventually, uh, you'll add another battery to your gauge. Like, you can see we had those grayed out ones. Um, in the demo, you have to pick up 20 batteries, I believe, to get a new one. I don't know if it's 20 for each battery or not. Um, some other little things, uh, you can see how everybody kind of trails behind the leader. Um, that can be a little dangerous. Um, I'll explain why in a second. But your leader changes just depending on whatever Unite Morph uh, you use last. So, Hand is always Wonder Red, Sword is always Wonder Blue, Gun is Wonder Green. Um, if you press the Y button, you dash, but people still trail behind you, and that's dangerous. Because if they get hit, they get knocked out and they, then you just can't use them in Unite Morphs for a little bit or whatever. But if you hold down the dash button, they kind of cling together. Uh, so you can use that to just like tap it really quickly 
to draw people closer to you, or you can hold it down while running so they stay close to you. And of course, we don't have all 100 people yet, but you see like uh, civilians here who need help. So if you draw a little curve around them, you don't need to have to do a full circle or anything. You can just do a little curve, like a C around them. Um, the line will turn into a rainbow, and that means you're about to temporarily recruit a citizen. Um, at the end of the level, they leave, though. Um, the sword is great at the beginning of the game, which is, this is where it is, the game, the demo's taking place. Um, because it is huge and has a wide range, which makes it really easy for taking out all the little guys. And you can see those little circles around the guy? I should mention that, um, the team attack move, sometimes when, um, you hit enemies with team attack, your party members will cling on to the guy and start punching him a whole bunch. And, um, also, this enemy's about to die. If you draw a circle around him, you can recruit enemies to your side, just like you do with, uh, civilians and such. It's really neat. As long as they turn purple, like they're about to explode, that's when you can recruit them. But what I was saying about team attack is, um, sometimes your party members will leave you, and then they will just cling to the enemy and start repeatedly punching them, which is what those little circles around the enemy was indicating. Um, enemies that cling to them do a little bit of extra damage over time, and it also kind of stuns them a little, and it makes them less likely to block or dodge attacks. Um, makes it easier to hit them with Unite Morph abilities, um, because when you have Unite Morph weapons out, you do not move very fast at all, you move very slowly. And I'm not entirely sure, but it feels like team attack, uh, the team attack's range increases, uh, when you get more people. Um, take a look at the start menu. Believe me, in this demo, we're getting down to the nit nitty-gritty. Um, you get a whole bunch of items here. These are for, like, beginner players, because using them, uh, reduces your rank. They're just, like, screen clearers. Um... You should really check this out if you're playing the demo, because it explains the controls of all these moves and yada yada, shows how to use them. You can also turn some abilities on and off, which is nice. Um, you can also list skills for each Unite Morph. All of them, the demo at least, begin with this jump and then attack uh, skill. They're all uh, like launchers for throwing dudes up into the air. Take a look at items, blah 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 blah. Um, you can pick up a fair amount of healing items uh, in this demo. Um, this bottle cap collection, from what I can tell, are in-game achievements, um, as well as uh, giving you like little bottle cap figures to collect. Um, this is something if you played Bayonetta, you probably recognize. Um, I've been collecting like space peppers and space carrots, and you have that chart over there that gives you like ingredients, how much of each of those items you need to use. So, like, if I use 10 space peppers, and then we switch over to the, uh, we use tablet screen. Um, we're going to start mixing the, the items, and that will basically give us a free, uh, healing item. You can also make some of those offensive items that you saw earlier. But, uh, yeah, we made a space pepper, which can, uh, heal you a little bit. Um, we also, this game, if you press the minus button a whole bunch, you can cycle through different, uh, versions of like picture-in-picture -picture modes with the main screen the Wii U's tablet, which is nice Because you can also play this game without the Wii U tablet. You can just use uh, one of the pro controllers And we also have these this custom parts thing um, And you can basically plug in these parts into slots I I'm assuming you're gonna level up in the main game and you'll get more slots But each one of these gives you some type of new ability as long as it is, as it is equipped like we have dodge mine so, uh, when we dodge, uh, we will place a mine where we once were. The other two power-ups, uh, custom parts or whatever we have, um, we have double power, uh, which just doubles the power of Unite Morphs, but makes your battery drain faster. And then we also have this charge one, where if you do an attack and hold down the button, It'll use up one of your uh, battery cells to instantly uh, power up your weapon. However, even if you use your actual people to make a giant weapon, they cannot stay that size for long. They'll eventually turn into a, a smaller version of the weapon. Also, like, I'm zooming in and out with the camera, that's done with the L and R buttons. Uh, there's like four different toggles of zoom. 
There's three normal ones, and then a fourth one if you hold down R to zoom really close in. Also, if you... Well, we got a new battery, but also, if you pay real close attention, the double jump an animation for Wonder Red and Wonder Blue is the exact same double jump animation for Beautiful Joe! Um, if you draw circles around other things, uh, you can interact with them, um, like with the cars, draw a circle, and you can let have your guys pick it up and throw it at stuff. Um, drawing circles around other things can also reveal uh, hidden collectibles. Yeah, so we have Wonder Toilets. Wonder Toilets are secret to toilets for superheroes. They're supply caches. So you just throw a whole bunch of your dudes into that toilet, and something pops out. This one gives you a little bit of money. Um, like I said, the circle can reveal hidden things, like that fire hydrant was in the circle, and now it's just spewing money because I circled it. Um, also underneath this car, there's this weird guy. What is up with him? Well, you can get temporary party members by rescuing civilians, but the other members of the Wonderful 100 are just hidden in about the levels. So we recruit this guy, and we get Wonder Painter, who is now a permanent member. And you can see in the bottom right he has stats. This doesn't really seem to play into the demo, but um, like we have leader characters, and we can take a look at all the heroes we've got. Um, and we, you have like that red bar next to them, and it appears... It's not in the demo, but it appears that your main Wonderful 100 heroes can actually level up, which influence their stats. Um, now, the game has seven main wonders, which are all color-themed, but all the other wonders you recruit also use one of the weapons one of the main seven use. But they all have different stats, so it might actually be worth to level them up and have them replace uh, them as the leader um, if you want to change the stats of whatever Unite Morph weapon. And also we have a uh, Wonder... Uh, Wonder Camera. He has a camera for a head, printing out a Polaroid picture of his actual face. This guy is messed up. There's some other amazing heroes on that screen if you're paying attention, like Wonder Toilet, and Wonder Bath, and Wonder Art, who just has a painting for a head. I'm actually lie, I did get more than one battery in this. Oh. Well, what do I know? Nothing, apparently. Looks like we got another wonderful wonder here. Let's check him out. Also, it appears uh, that you, you, your health just increases. I'm not entirely sure what causes that. It might just be uh, depending on how many uh, wonders you have actually recruited. Also, Wonder Beer. All right, and hang out with Wonder Beer. Um, all your Unite morphs are also used uh, to interact with things. Like uh, Unite Hand can do things like turn giant cogs. If you check this out, suddenly we're in this building, but can't see shit. But that's because inside the building is on the Wii U's gamepad. And this is a little puzzle area. So you can see the gamepad is inside the building. And we can see the top of the building, which has numbers uh, on the TV. And inside the building, we see the numbers 235. We've got three big old cogs. So we start manipulating these cogs on the bottom screen to start changing uh, the numbers on the TV. And so we just gotta put in 235 to unlock the door. This is like one of the only Wii U games so far that actually attempts to use the bottom or the touch screen in interesting ways. It's like the fourth game to actually try. Good job, Hideki Kamiya.
So another thing the gun can do, instead of firing your own guys' ammo, if you bump into a small enemy with the gun, you can suck them up and then fire them as ammo instead. You can also suck up larger enemies uh, if you make a larger gun. So an enemy that has been dazed can also easily be launched into the air, like I'm doing right now with the sword. I'm just juggling that guy. So, uh, Unite Hand is mainly, like, is your main damage dealer. Um, it's kind of a, doesn't have a wide range or anything. It's just more for fighting a single target, but it does a lot more damage, it seems, than Unite Sword. Like I was saying, um, you know, you want to hold down the button so that your allies don't kind of linger behind you, because if they get hit, they get knocked out and can't fight for a while, but you will not take damage. You only take damage if the leader character gets hit. But if they do get hit, uh, they get thrown around the map, and then you need to either just wait for a while before they automatically just rejoin you, or you need to run over to them to uh, wake them up. Also, that was not an enemy type. That's just a big old like, toy dispenser where they capture humans. So if you start cranking it, you'll get some extra allies. And during that little jump sequence, you might have noticed there was stuff underneath this bridge. So certain things can only be opened with certain Unite Morphs, like this blue box with chains. You gotta cut it open with a sword. Not gonna take a look at this in the video, but yeah, they're, they're, the game's got little extra exposition-y text bits that you can find hidden around the levels. But also, we got this pipe. Go into this green pipe. Takes us back to the other side of the bridge, where there's a hidden mission. In traditional Platinum Games style, there are hidden ranked fights throughout the levels, uh, either through backtracking or in hidden secret areas. So, Wonderful Pudding cannot block all attacks in the game. If an attack is just too strong, it can break through it. Um, other things that can break through it are lasers, and also if an enemy has a sharp weapon or they are pointy, uh, they can cut straight through the pudding. Because pudding is soft, man! Another nice little ch touch is... Um, the news headline for the newspaper changes depending on what rank you get. So if you do really badly, that newspaper is going to say you're terrible. Give me those space peppers. Also, uh, controls-wise, if you can put away Unite Morphs by just tapping Y, the dash button, but you, if you put a weapon away, you don't need to draw the shape again. You can just press the A button, the button you're using to attack that weapon, and you'll just draw it whatever last Unite Morph you drew, you'll just pull it right back out. Wonderful Pudding can also deflect some types of projectiles. You gotta do this for this guy, because he's got a shield that makes just makes your weapon bounce right off him. 
Um, if you block this charge, you can tip him over and daze him. And just like with cars, draw a circle around a dazed enemy, and then you can chuck him and do a bunch of damage to him. So something really neat about um, the combat system. I'm not going to explain it, but just yet. Yeah, but try and guess what I'm doing, because there's some actually pretty neat advanced techniques you can do in this game. Like you might have just notice, I somehow just had two swords out at once. But we'll get to that in a little bit. The thing you knight hand can do is start pulling stuff. So the three weapons in the demo aren't the only weapons. Like I said, there are seven uh, main uh, wonders. Uh, and each of them represents a different color, uh, and they also have their own unique weapon. And then all the other wonderful one-on-ones that you can uh, recruit have a different variation of one of the main seven weapons. And since this is a Hideki Kamiya game, obviously somewhere we're going to start drawing circles to make flowers bloom. To make these flowers bloom just gives you a big old rocket to grab up from the top. Although it is one of the weapon or er, items that reduces your rank if you use it. Womp womp. So when you're using uh, Wonder Spring to dodge, you can do it in the air as well as on the ground, and you can also interrupt attacks to dodge out of the way. Also, that guy dropped his hands, his rocket hands. I did not use them effectively at all. Oh well. But yeah, some enemies uh, will drop uh, giant weapons for you to temporarily use, kind of like the angel arms in Bayonetta. Oh, that was a poorly timed guard. He'd mess me up. Well, it was good while it lasted. I was getting pure platinums for a while. Fortunately, my time is up. I've shamed myself. This section is pretty simple. You just gotta face wherever a truck falls so you can block all the damage with your shield. But yeah, if you're new to Platinum uh, games, if you want to get a pure Platinum, that essentially means doing a no damage run. Can't get hit once, or else you, you lose that pure Platinum. 
It's pretty tough. There are even more Unite Morphs to be used, uh, not offensive ones. Like, you draw a straight line up a building, and you can form a ladder. Um, you can also form bridges across the buildings. Um, you can also form a hang glider to cross uh, big distances. There's no use for the hang glider in this demo, but if you want to make the hang glider, you just have to draw a big old triangle. And also, at certain points, it seems when you level up, um, you'll get new skills uh, for your different Unite Morphs. So, like, we got a uh, Stinger for Unite Hand. So now we do a back and forward motion on the stick, followed by hitting the A, at the a button. And uh, you'll do that little rush forward. You know, just a, the traditional uh, Stinger move. You know, Stinger! Come on! I remember I mentioned some advanced techniques, like I had two swords out earlier. You can have up to five Unite Morphs going at once. What happens is you draw additional shapes after you've done one. You maintain control over the first shape you drew. Any additional Unite Morphs you draw afterwards um, are kind of like assist attacks, where additional party members will just start automatically attacking with whatever Unite Morph you drew. Um, and then they will sh quickly disappear. Um, but this is a really neat uh, technique because it means that you can attack enemies from multiple directions and handle multiple enemy types at the same time once you start getting good at it. Also, just like Bayonetta and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, this game has the uh, dodge offset ability, which is essentially... Um, if you dodge in the middle of a combo and then begin attacking right after you dodged, um, you will not lose your place in your combo. Your combo will not reset, it will just keep on going, which is nice, it keeps things moving smoothly. Also feels pretty cool in general. Although you gotta be careful when you're doing the, like, m multiple simultaneous Unite Morphs. Because you're going to end up using a whole lot of battery while doing that. So you got to make good use of it. Just don't start spamming sword everywhere constantly. Well, that might work on easy. I don't know. Oh, silver. Oh, well. Look, I got mostly pure Platinums, alright? So other things you can do while doing um, simultaneous Unite Morphs, something I haven't gotten too good of a handle at yet, but if you have like a dazed enemy, you could launch them with a sword, and then once they've been launched up with the sword, you can then switch to the gun so that you could have the whoever is using the gun uh, just juggle them in the air repeatedly with rapid fire shots. And I... This is what happens when you use too many Unite Morphs and dodges and puddings. You run out of battery, and then that means you can't dodge anymore. You just have to wait for your battery to slowly recharge. I got a platinum. I mean, it's the second best rank. Just took a little too much damage, unfortunately. 
Don't ask me what that mystery bonus is, I have no clue. I've been trying to figure it out. I have had no luck so far. This game also has multiplayer, up to five players, but it's local only. Um, the demo does include a multiplayer mission in it, though. Uh, unfortunately, I have no extra controllers to other people who are willing to figure out the wonderful 101. Um, but we will take a look at it, because there are some other neat things that are only demonstrated uh, in the wonderful mission. First thing is, when you're at Mission Select, um, there are two hidden things in here that are kind of fun to play with. First, you want to just draw a curve like you're trying to recruit somebody. And then you need to go around the arena and wait to see the line turn into a rainbow right there. Because then you'll actually recruit a hidden invisible person. And after you recruited that person, there's actually a second person right over here you can recruit. two people that you can recruit in the uh, little mission here is Wonder Pink and Wonder Yellow, two of the other main seven wonders. Wonder Pink, you d draw a little wavy line and you can get her whip. As far as I know, the whip is used for like swinging along grappling hook points and also like ripping armor off spiked enemies. Um, and I didn't actually know what shape it was, I had a guess for a second from the trailer. But if you do kind of a question mark or a sickle shape, you get Wonder Yellow's uh, rocket hammer. So I'm not going to show the whole mission, it's like three separate uh, areas you have to fight through. But this mission demonstrates a couple other things Unite Morphs can do. Mainly, each Unite Morph can like deflect certain types of attacks. Um, like the sword reflects lasers. And also, I should mention, um, when you're drawing shapes, you don't have to worry about doing them fast for the most part. Because when you start drawing, the game goes into, like, super slow motion to allow you to take your time drawing the shape. Something that Unite Hand can do, like this guy opened his head and he's shooting fire at me. But if you have Unite Hand up, you'll actually absorb the fire and then your next punch will actually throw a giant fireball along with it, which can set enemies on fire, and I'm almost absolutely sure will be used for environmental puzzles or something like that. So I love how angry this robot gets. Look at this guy. He's just losing it. Uh, but yeah, the oh, only silver. Mm, 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 I don't like that. But yeah, that's the demo of the Wonderful 101. It comes out like late August, pretty much everywhere except North America. If you're in North America, you gotta wait until September 15th.
Bye-bye.